Sadly, Toby Keith was right. Two months ago, Taste of Country asked why he wasn't in the Country Music Hall of Fame yet. Don't ask me. I don't know how that works. Uh, I didn't know. Uh, they use the way you die, don't they? <laughs> That's really difficult to hear today. If you're just catching up, Toby Keith died on February 5th after a two-year battle with stomach cancer. And the really hard part is there seemed to be so much hope. I finally got in, in a spot where I'm really comfortable with it. And uh, uh, everything's trending really well right now. I guess deep down we all knew this was possible. Over the last 18 months, he looked thin and sometimes weak in interviews and TV appearances. Toby told us he was no longer on chemotherapy two months ago, but said he was still in treatment. At the same time, he admitted that performing Don't Let the Old Man In, number two on our list of top 20 Toby Keith songs, felt a little bit different after having a brush with death. Yeah, many moons I have lived my body's weathered and warm. Let's dive into this list a little bit, because I really do think the music heals. Consider tapping subscribe if you appreciate this kind of in-depth original country music analysis, and share your top three Toby Keith songs in the comments section below. I think by the end of this video, it'll be real clear that Toby is deserving of the Country Music Hall of Fame. It's just a shame he didn't live long enough to see it, although he always said being inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame was really what he was chasing. Who's your, daddy? Who's, your baby? Who's Your Daddy feels like an early Toby Keith hit, but it wasn't released until 2002, right after the number one hit, courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue, The Angry American. I've always thought this was one of his signature songs, because it combined some attitude, a sense of humor, and, you know, it was a little bit controversial. He really did court controversy, didn't he? If you recall, it was around this time that things were starting to get pretty hot with the Dixie Chicks, they had criticized his music, and he used a photo of Natalie Maines alongside Saddam Hussein during live shows after she said she was ashamed that the President of the United States was from Texas, Who's Your Daddy hardly sounds like contrition. I love this bar. I'm not sure I Love This Bar would have made our list if not for this one-of-a-kind tribute to Toby Keith from Eric Church at the 2022 BMI Awards. Come as you are and ain't that far ooh, ooh. I love his bar Listen, if it's Church's favorite, I'm prone to think it's pretty good. Beer for My Horses and Whiskey Girl were two more from a particularly boozy period in Keith's music. I want to stop and appreciate Toby Keith's ability to write really sensitive country songs right now. My list makes our list at number 11, but so too does You Shouldn't Kiss Me Like This. You shouldn't kiss me like this, unless you mean it like that. And then there was this gem from the 1996 Blue Moon album. It's rough and ragged edges, so good to use some love. Even then, he showed he was a dynamic, sensitive songwriter, but that would get somewhat lost in the early 2000s when he became better known for being more of a patriot. I'm an American soldier, an American. Two of his top five songs are an all-time funeral songs, and I mean that in the very best way. When jazz musician Wayman Tisdale died in 2009, Toby wrote Crying For Me for his friend. I'm gonna miss that smile. I'm gonna miss you, my friend. And then, of course, came Don't Let the Old Man In, a song written for the Clint Eastwood movie, The Mule. Clint's 93, still plays golf every day. So when I wrote it, it was like, I didn't know those in the next few years that I was gonna have to be looking those words square in the face, you know? And, and uh, as much as they're words to live by when you're old, they're just as much words to live by when you're battling a, a fatal uh, type a disease that can be fatal, you know? We're gonna miss you, Toby, said Carrie Underwood on Instagram, but my heart has no doubt that you're standing in the presence of our king right now. I included her response ahead of the dozens from country music artists because she helped tribute Toby by singing one of his all-time great songs in November of 2022. Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue is number one on our list, and it has to be, right? Lifetime Toby had 20 number one hits in the Billboard Country Airplay chart and 22 more top 10 songs. He sold at least 25 million albums, 
That's good enough for number 19 all time per the RIAA. He won three Entertainer of the Year trophies and was a legit headliner for at least two decades, right up to his very last show in Las Vegas in December 2023. As for his most unforgettable moments, I mean, you really have to include his Super Bowl appearance with Willie Nelson, with whom he recorded the song Beer for My Horses. And you have to think about the song Weed with Willie, during which Toby expresses some regret after partaking. I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. Recently, we made a great Toby Keith trivia video that goes deep into how he separated himself from major record labels and founded his own record label in the early 2000s. I think that story is a little bit cerebral for right now, but I dropped a link for you if you want to go there. That's certainly an all-time great moment. Toby wasn't a man for many duets, but you will find one with Sting in his catalog. And then, of course, this song, which he recorded with his daughter, Crystal Keith. What do we need to do to get you into the Hall of Fame? Don't ask me. I don't know how that works. Uh, I didn't... Uh, they use the way that you die, don't they? <laughs> Toby was right. But by now, I hope I've convinced you that better late than never will have to do. You'll find a really great video about Toby Keith that answers a kind of nagging question about why his daughter Crystal doesn't sing anymore. I'm going to link to it right here or right here. If you love Toby, I really think you'll enjoy this video. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.